As president, he used stories to drive home political arguments with engaging economy. When Major General John Pope telegraphed that he had captured 5,000 Confederates, the cabinet asked the president's opinion. Oh, that reminds me, he replied, of an old woman who was ill. The doctor gave her medicine for her constipation. The next morning, he found her fresh and well and getting breakfast. She confirmed that the medicine had worked. <clears throat> now, how many movements, the physician inquired. 142, she replied. <laughs> Madam, I am serious, the physician replied. How many? 142. Madam, I must know. Uh, it is necessary I have the exact number of movements. I tell you, 142. 140 of them wind. <laughs> Lincoln closed the discussion. I am afraid Pope's captures are 140 of them wind. <laughs> Finding himself with the support of only one member of the cabinet during a critical phase of the Trent Affair, when Britain threatened war over the Union Navy's seizure of Confederate envoys from a British ship, he recalled the drunk, there were lots of drunks in Lincoln stories, he recalled the drunk who strayed into an Illinois church and fell asleep in the front row. He slumbered on as the revivalist asked, who are on the Lord's side? And the congregation responded by rising en masse. When the preacher then inquired, who are on the side of the devil? The sleeper stirred. But not fully grasping the inquiry and seeing the minister on his feet, he stood up. I don't exactly understand the question, he said, but I'll stand by you, parson, to the last. But it seems to me that we're in a hopeless minority. 